it's been a minute since I've done a Goodwill video, so I thought we'd pop in here. I'm looking for small tables for my living room. This is a Goodwill furniture. This one has a little bit of everything. As usual, I'm looking for vintage and antiques, but since we're here, I'm going to show you everything I can. I'm Tanya, by the way, and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we love to do everything thrifting. We'll take a quick walk through the furniture aisles. Just a quick one because I wasn't really impressed with anything that was here, but we'll take a look at prices at least because I haven't been here in a while, so I want to do a quick check on those. Ooh, first vintage item. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked, but look at this. It's just gorgeous. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I am almost positive that this is a Victorian piano. And if so, there is a trend where they take Victorian pianos and they turn them into wet bars. It's just the coolest thing. You've got to Google it if you haven't seen it. Also, I have a little surprise for you. I was planning on making this a 100% Goodwill video. However, today felt like the perfect day to head back to my very favorite thrift store. It's the one you all loved so much last time, YouTube family, and I've been really dying to take you back there. It was incredible as always, and I can't wait for you to see some of the gems there. This leather sofa was in great shape and the color is stunning. I don't know much about pianos, but I do know that you can find one for $8.99 at Goodwill. There are a handful of pieces in here that we're gonna look at because I think they would be amazing if you like to fix up furniture. But specifically we're looking because they've started this new, at least it's new for, for our Goodwills, they've started this new thing with 99 cent tags for furniture. So if you like fixing up furniture, Goodwill would definitely be a place to go to again. Their prices got really high for a while there, but they're back to reasonable and even better than reasonable. I mean, 99 cents for a piece of furniture, that is really worth it. It's tough to find that even at garage sales or yard sales these days. I just love these little vintage side tables. They need some work, but they're adorable. Trust me though, the best stuff is coming up at the next thrift store. This is all just a warm up. I can't wait for you to see what comes next. I think the price tag is for both of these pieces, but just the hutch itself, imagine that painted with some legs on it. Oh my gosh, it would be so gorgeous. This roll top desk was really nice. I thought this was the price tag, but it's not. It's just an inventory sticker. This hutch is just beautiful, and I think we saw the bottom to it a few rows back. 
this mirror is just gorgeous to me and it's $25. You'd pay more than that at Ikea. We'll take a quick peek at the lamps. There were a couple of cute little vintage lamps here. I just love this sweet little milk glass lamp. So precious. Glassware and home goods was pretty much picked over, but they did have a couple of clocks that were worth taking a peek at. And they always have a huge row of frames here. I always check them out because I like to look for vintage frames. Also, I have found original artwork here, so that is something I look for at this specific Goodwill every time I come. This is one of my very favorite thrift stores. It is so clean and so well organized. It looks like a department store when you walk in. They have a huge clothing selection, but we're gonna head straight to the back where all the home goodies are. This place is huge, and there's an entire back area outside that we haven't even seen yet. We're starting in this area because I always find some really amazing and unique things in this section. Like these gorgeous grandfather clocks. I mean, when is the last time you saw a grandfather clock at a thrift store? They always have instruments here and the prices are always really good compared to other used places in my area. But this is where the real finds are at. These glass cases are full of vintage and antique and collectible, really fun, really sometimes really unique things. And the prices are almost always way less than I can find these items anywhere else. Hobnail glass shoes, five dollars.
This gorgeous carnival glass basket, $15. So here's the real treat of this store and why I come here faithfully. It's the furniture section. There's always something incredible here, and I mean always without fail. I guarantee you we will see a piece of furniture here that is vintage or antique that will absolutely blow my mind. I will let you know when we get to it. Look at this absolutely gorgeous drop leaf table and look at the lion head. It's a stunner. I think somebody sanded it down probably to refinish it and never got around to it. What a perfect project.
okay, this is it. This is the one. This hall tree is so stunning. Oh my gosh. I've measured so I already know that it's too big to fit in my entryway. I'm absolutely crushed right now. Look at the lion heads. Oh, YouTube fam, you know how I feel about lion heads. This Victorian hall tree, I wanted it with everything in me. It's probably for the best because it was pretty pricey for a thrift store. However, there was a piece there that probably goes on the top. So I think I could have talked him way down. Not that that makes me feel any better about it. I just love the age on this chair. Look at this patina, especially on the leather and the nails. Oh, love it.
Okay, so this bed might win hands down for the single most incredible thing that I've ever seen at a thrift store. I can't believe the size of this. It's so amazing. It's solid wood. It looks like it belongs in Tahoe. And the story is that there are two of them, two identical beds. I think they were both queen. I would give anything to see these in a Tahoe cabin. Okay, well here's my big purchase for the day. I didn't find my tables and that hall tree unfortunately was too big and I'm still crushed about it. But I am putting together an art wall for my staircase and this is gonna fit in just perfectly as a filler. I'm really happy about it. Not to mention, I think this is the first time I have ever walked out of a thrifting trip for under a dollar. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for coming with me and until next time, happy thrifting!